Oops. Uh, we've got the camera turned around backwards here. How do we fix that? There we go. Good morning, my friends. What up? Time for a cup of coffee. It's uh, Tuesday morning. First day back after a holiday weekend. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day. Memorial Day was a, uh, has another, uh, yesterday, had another uh, incident associated with it or event, whatever. It was the actually the birthday of Ralph Waldo Emerson. In 2003, Ralph Waldo Emerson was born on May 25th. Probably wasn't Memorial Day that year. It made him t- t- 217 years old yesterday. You know, anyone who still remembered and quoted after 217 years must have had something really interesting to say. One of the, hello, Larry, good morning. One of the uh, famous quotes of Ralph Waldo Emerson was, don't follow the path that's well-worn. Set off and make your own trail. Set off where no one else has gone and and forge your own path. Now, those, those aren't exactly his words. But the essence of what he was saying is in that quote, is in those words. What path are you on? The vast majority of people tend to follow the crowd. They do what everyone else is doing. You know, when I was growing up, there was this funny saying that they're keeping up with the Joneses. And what does that really mean? And why do you care anyhow? When I was a kid, my mother was always concerned about what the neighbors thought. (laughs) She never figured it out. The neighbors didn't think very much about anything. Who cares what they thought? It certainly wasn't about us. So the question then is, are you forging your own path? Are you doing your own thing? Are you being true to yourself? By the way, Ralph Waldo Emerson was also one of the leaders of what was called the Transcendental Movement back in the uh, 1800s. The Transcendental Movement had this sort of quirky idea that there was unity amongst people, unity of life, unity of all creation. And we've come full circle to understand that, that we're all one and one all. Everything is connected. And we believe that today more than ever everything is connected. You, me, the tree, the ocean, the the birds, the forest, the animals, life. We're all one, all connected. What we do to one, we do to all. So, I guess what I'd like to say today is, hello, Stefan, good morning. What I'd like to say today is, first, your path. Are you following your path? Are you being true to yourself? Are you doing what you were brought here to do? Or are you following the crowd, following the herd, following the 97% of the population that reaches the end of life and has nothing but regret for what they didn't do because they never tried anything new. They didn't step out of their comfort zone. They didn't do what they thought about because they were afraid something might go wrong. So, in following your own path, are we also taking into account that we're all one and everything we do affects everybody? And are we letting other people do the thing for themselves that they want to do? And are we letting other people be real? I hope I'm making sense this morning. I know I'm rambling on a little bit, but I hope I'm making sense. I know what I'm trying to say. It may not be coming out as smoothly as it could. But in these days and times, we need to forge our own path and be respectful of everyone else and let them forge their own path. And that means many things to me. It means if your neighbor wants to wear a mask, fine. If you don't, fine. If your neighbor thinks they should stay home, fine. If you think you should stay home, fine. 
It means you should do what you think is right for you. As long as, not, as long as it's not hurting anybody else. So what's your path? I hope I made sense today. Happy birthday, Ralph Waldo Emerson, one day late. He wrote some really interesting things. A lot of great ideas. As I said, he would he would have been, uh, I think, 207. My arithmetic is right. He would have been 217 yesterday. It's a long time to still be remembered and be quoted. Not very many of us achieved that objective. All right, my friends, you have a wonderful day. Be happy. Remember, if you're happy, the world can bring more happy to you. Stefan, Chahat, good morning. Yashpul, good morning. And anyone else, I can't see who else may have scrolled off. Larry, good morning. And remember to be compassionate. The world needs a whole lot more of that. Bye for now.